First of all, an irrational number cannot be written as a quotient of integers. So what is an integer? Well, you know your integers as, uh, say for example, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, dot, 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 right? So it can be basically a round number, you know, uh, positive, negative, or 0. And so uh, if it can't be written as a quotient of integers, say for example like uh, 7 divided by 10, see these are both integers, this is considered a rational number. It's a ratio, okay, of two integers, all right? So that's rational, not irrational. Also, it can't be written as a terminating decimal. So what do we mean by that? Well, a terminating decimal, say for example, if you have uh, 0.3. Well, 0.3, see how it stops or terminates? 0.3 can be written as 3 divided by 10, and you can see we're back to an integer divided by an integer. That's a rational number, not an irrational number. And then also, it cannot be a repeating decimal. Now, a repeating decimal would be something like this, 0.3. To repeating, so this is actually 0.222 dot dot dot, right? And that can actually be written as a ratio of an integer divided by an integer. It's two divided by nine. And you can check that by dividing that on your calculator, and you'll see that you get 0.2 repeating. So, with irrational numbers, let's take a look at some examples. See if we can classify these. So, say for example, the square root of seven. Okay, square root of seven. If we do that on our calculator, you're going to see that it's a non-terminating non-repeating decimal. So this is actually an irrational number, okay? Square root of 16, on the other hand, can be simplified to four because four squared is 16, and four can be written as a ratio of an integer divided by an integer. So this is actually a rational number. I'll just put R for rational, okay? 0.2 repeating, that's the one that we did over here earlier. That's actually uh, a ratio of an integer divided by an integer. It's a repeating decimal, so that's actually gonna be rational. Pi, on the other hand, is approximately, right, 3.14159 dot, dot, dot. Now, it doesn't repeat, and it doesn't terminate or stop, and so this cannot be written as a ratio of an integer divided by an integer, so this is an irrational number. Okay, four-thirds, four-thirds, you can see it's already a ratio of an integer divided by an integer. This is a rational number, okay, R for rational. Zero can be written as zero divided by one. So zero is an integer as we talked about over here. One is also an integer, so it's a ratio of integers. That's a rational number. Uh, e is approximately, a, it's a number like pi where it's 2.71 dot, dot, dot. It doesn't repeat, it doesn't terminate, so that's considered an irrational number. And then this last one here, 3.01001001, this one tricks students sometimes because they see the pattern Okay, but they don't realize that it's not actually repeating. If this was 3.01010101, then it could be written as a ratio of an integer divided by an integer. But this one is actually not repeating, okay, and it's not terminating. So this is irrational. So I hope this short little video helped you to understand the difference between rational and irrational numbers better. Subscribe to the channel. Check out more math tutoring videos on my YouTube channel, Mario's Math Tutoring. And I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.